A great day, beautiful weather. Thank the good Lord for that. Me and Glenn was just talking about how it's dry and a little bit cooler, got a little breeze. Uh, good situational work this morning. Worked a lot of empty and all the situations of empty, empty, most and two empty, uh, reloading from empty. We also worked third and short for the first time and got that situation covered and uh, got down in the high red zone again. Emphasize that offense made a lot of explosive plays, which is good for our offense. We've got to get that short up on D, and we will. We will. Some of it was just some good some good good stuff offensively. Uh, I think I think really good execution and tricky stuff on the defense's eyes, but we'll get that short up. And I uh, got a big day tomorrow. You know, we're gonna try to go around 90 snaps, which is about two and a half quarters, probably about 45 snaps with each group. Uh, we'll do it at a fast pace to really test our metal and test our conditioning. And uh, looking forward to it. You know, tomorrow I think is, uh, or I know it's our To The Top Collective membership day for those people, so if you hadn't joined, join today and only take $17 a month and then you can come to practice tomorrow you can mingle with our players you can meet them you can take a picture with them Peter Bain's gonna have breakfast if you hadn't met Peter you need to we got to make him famous and uh, it could be a great day tomorrow for you to see our players and be a party players if you if you got kids that love our players sign up for the collective click that link bring your kids tomorrow she will let them come out to the middle and break it down with us all right <laughs> but uh we need you and keep growing that so with that I'll open it up Will, the last two days, a little bit about the young guys. Maybe just talk about some guys that stood out to you. Yeah, not so much young, but inexperienced. Inexperienced, yeah, inexperienced here. You know, guys that have played a lot of snaps for Southern Miss, we kind of reduced their last two days. Guys that are new to Southern Miss, we have increased their reps the last two days because it's a long camp. Uh, we got a lot of guys that know how to play football at Southern Miss. We got a lot of guys we got to train. So that's been good. You know, we're trying to get our experienced guys in on the situational work, but then just the base down football and base stuff, we're trying to get more work with some of these some of these newer guys to Southern Miss. I think that's been good to see. We've recruited a lot of talent. They're coming on, they're becoming us. And I think our leaders are doing a good job of developing them too. You touch on how Teron Beffert's coming in. I know when y'all brought him in, he was supposed to be a physical piece in the run game. Yeah. He actually catches the ball a little bit too, so. Man, his development the last two days has been a pleasant uh sight to see you know i got to give a lot of credit to steve buckley uh i called buckley about a few days ago and i said pucks man you know i've signed a lot of good players for you in my life and teron he just ain't spilling it right now and he said let me call him you know what i mean and that's the great thing about our relationships we have with with all these kids and their people i knew bucks knew how to make teron tick bucks called teron and then credit to teron teron stepped up the last two days had his two best practices and uh, we needed that to happen uh, so uh, it's been good to see the last two days and hope and now he's got to keep going. He's not there yet. He's got to continue to grow and develop, but, but excited he's here. What do you just hope to see tomorrow or accomplish from scrimmage? Tell it. Uh, physical work. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I was messing with Damien yesterday on Eagle Hour. I always said something. I want to see who can sustain blocks, yeah. who can get off a block, who can tackle, and who can break tackles. That's what I'm always looking for in a scrimmage because football is really a game of math. And that's the way you all of a sudden, it's 11 on 11 when the ball snap, but as soon as you get off a block, now it's 11 on 10. As soon as you break a tackle, now it's 11 on 10. And so uh, those things that swing the math is what, you know, because our schemes are our schemes. We want to see execution, obviously, but who can, who can win a one-on-one -on -one situation? Whatever your particular one-on-one -on -one situation is, is what we look to see. Uh, JQ Gray, when he gets into those tackles and shoots up the gap, he can really come up and down so quick. He is. He's uh man. He's really, really fast, really, really quick and elusive. Uh, he's a tough guy. Even though he's little, he's got that chip on his shoulder. Uh, you know, he's really embraced ball security and gotten so much better. And I think he's going to be a weapon for us this year. Another another piece that Coach Long can use in special situations and all those things. Thought of Greg Nunnery looked a lot really good in that pass protection and drill show. He, he did. He, he did. He had a one-on-one -on -one with Jaleel Clemens, yeah. which is good on good. He continues to improve. Greg's a mean, nasty guy. that has brought a lot of physicalness to the position. We got great competition with him and Chris Hayes right there. But that's two mean dudes. Yeah. I was going to say, um, with Chris, I mean, I mean, we'll talk about that competition with those two guys. I know Chris has been nicked up a little bit. That's a good situation. Right Sheesh. Yeah. We used to look around trying to find a tackle. You know what I mean? Now we got we got four kids that we really, really think can play high level Sunbelt ball. You know, in Chief and Tank Welch and then uh Greg and Chris Hayes. Greg and Chris Hayes bring a nastiness to them. You know, that uh you know they they they, they come out here every day wanting to impose their will on people. 
and uh, that's been something that's kind of permeated. You know, when you add Dante Lucas and Will Saxton, Luke Rogers is mean like that. You know, so so all of a sudden our old line has gotten a lot more nasty. You can ask Jaleel, he'll tell you that. And we were talking about the other day. So, but Chris and Greg, man, great competition with each other. They're both physical, and uh, and and they're both improving every day. Two, two more for coach. Two donor, he's, he's not your, really your prototypical body for a tackle, especially with his reach. But he seems to be so fluid through the hips, and with his feet, he can compensate for some of that on the outside. Yeah, that's why we got him because his body, the way he looks. If, if he would have, if he would have looked a little bit different, he would probably. He's an he's an SEC guy that's playing at Southern Miss, like a lot of our recruits, and. Uh, and so, we, you know, you heard me talk all the time, we want one strike guys, that was Greg's strike. You know, he doesn't fit some parameters in the way his body's shaped and everything, but man, he can play, he can play. Have you guys tried using out the helmet communications? Yes, yes, we have, we've used it. We used it, uh, we use it a lot in our summer walkthroughs and summer things. Uh, and then uh, we've used it in some of our walkthroughs uh, right now. It'll be a piece of what we do. It won't be all that we do, but it will certainly be a part of what we do. So, so tomorrow might be a little part of it? Uh, we might. We might not. It's a little different when you're using it because the offense and defense will have to be on the – you know, when you're competing against each other, it's a little harder because in a game we'll be on the same headset communication system. Well, now we're going O and D versus each other. It makes it a little bit harder from a logistic standpoint to use it versus each other in scrimmages. We'll use it in our mock games uh, when we start getting ready. Like when we flip over to really competing against Kentucky, but it's not as uh, – it's not – you know, the big thing was just making sure the kids hear it and walk throughs and all. It's, it's no different than – I mean, they're just hearing it. You know, it ain't no different than if I look this way and talk to you, you know, you can still hear me. We just want to make sure they can't read our lips when we're talking to them. You can practice it anyway. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Thanks. Not everybody wants. <laughs> yeah. Coach, not to be negative right out of the gate, but in the red zone work, getting, getting it over the top a little bit, yeah. cleaning that up. Yeah, yeah, we're working working perimeter there. They, you know, they're they're throwing some of their you know double moves and shots in the high red, and you know that's a situation we just got to play with better eyes. And you know they're they're throwing some some different wrinkles at us uh, today, and you know caught us in a couple things. But you know we'll get that we'll get that cleaned up. Um, just after Tuesday, again, to see your team in full tackle, obviously. Didn't yeah. make all the tackles, that's to be expected, yeah. but how do you yeah. want to see that improve tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, a, that's the biggest thing. Like, we, we didn't tackle great. It was the first first time you're live, you know, you're right. kind of expecting that. You know, tomorrow I want to see us. You know, it, it, we're not going to make every tackle, but as long as we, we miss with the correct leverage and the pursuit inside out is going to make us right. So, you know, I want to see guys flying around, you know, taking the shots. If they miss, miss with the proper level. But, uh or proper leverage so the pursuit can get it. But I want to see guys running our feet and wrapping up. You know, not like Tuesday, we're throwing too many shoulders out there. How is the linebacker room just coming along? Lately? Good, good, really good. I mean, that, that room has been playing at a high level. You know, they've, they've got a lot They've got a lot on them in this defense, and they're communicating and fitting at a high level, and we're seeing a lot of different looks from the offense, and they're they're executing it. So that, that room, uh, I'm, I'm really happy with. Jacob Johnson looked terrific on Tuesday one of the better standout yeah. defensive players yeah he, he did he I mean he's coming along like he missed missed that section in spring so uh you know which kind of hurt, hurt his development there but like this he's taking off this this fall and he's starting to execute and he's starting to play like that that room uh you know we're creating some good depth in there they feel feel, feel good about going into the season off of that, as a true freshman, can you talk about the progression, the maturity of Chris Jones coming in? Yeah, I mean, you talk about the guy, guy, a kid with the you know body and 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 everything that come in and physique that doesn't happen very often. But then the smarts, like there's a lot lot on on him in this defense. You know, to come from a high school, like he's been he's been impressive to go out there and be able to execute and you know see things. It's, it's one thing to do it in the classroom, but to come out here and actually be able to execute on the field has been has been awesome. Talk about your level of comfortability with your two deep at corners. How's that shaping out for you? Yeah, I mean we we had a couple guys get banged up in the uh, in in on Tuesday. We got it. We got them back today. So you know we're just we're, we're still right now trying to figure out that that two deep and you know developing the guys underneath it. And make sure we got more. We got to get guys healthy so we can see. You know you feel you feel good about the the starters, but we got to continue to create the depth back there. You know and get and get like Will James back healthy out there and practicing full concept you're new a lot of the guys are new but uh, in your front you've got a lot of different pieces yep. with, a, with a lot of different you know variations of athleticism have you gotten to the point where you can start talking about putting in special packages for guys oh yeah for sure and we're, we're starting to 
like started with our base third down stuff of, of you know just teaching it to everybody out of out of base. But that is that's the next the next step here is, is getting into our personnel and, and get our four best rushers out there, you know, and, and you know so we can get after the quarterback. But teaching teaching the concept first right now to everybody, and then we'll we're we're, we're going to get into that stuff starting next week here.